What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. Um, thank you for tuning in to, again to the Vape channel. Uh, I have a review tonight for a mechanical mod, the uh, Tree of Life clone. So uh, yeah, take the camera down, break it down a little bit, talk about it, and we'll come back up and I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. So stick around. Okay, so this is the Tree of Life mod, and what you're going to get in the box, as you can see, are three tubes. They all come wrapped. So you have an 18650 tube, an 18500 tube, and an 18350. And as you can see, it is pre assembled in 18350 mode. So I'm going to. Uh, Pull this out, unwrap it, and we'll assemble it in the 18650 mode. So I'm just going to uh, steal the switch <clears throat> and the top cap and put this back in here for safekeeping. And we'll take out our 18650 tube. Oops. <clears throat> okay. So on the tube, it's a very plain tube. There's no serial numbers on it. You just have your uh, Tree of Life emblem at the bottom. It is engraved pretty nicely. It's not too deep, but then again, it doesn't. You know, it's it's just deep enough. So there's some nice detail in it. Uh, threads are good threads on this mod. <clears throat> but anyhow, we'll start with the top cap. So what you have up here, as you can see, there's the four slits so that when you screw your Addy down there is airflow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can't stop clearing my throat today. And the way this one works is it has a floating 510 and then inside of that floating 510 is a uh, battery adjustment pin which you can run in and out to adjust your battery rattle. So. And again, there is a black piece of Delrin inside of here. This is removable, but I snugged it down with a pair of pliers and don't have any on me at the, right now, so uh, I'm just going to leave that in there. But it is removable for cleaning. So I'll go ahead throw this on here. The threads on this are nice. They're very smooth. So, oh, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but your contacts on the top are copper. Now the switch, again you have a copper contact. So I'm just going to take this apart. Actually first, let's go with this. Um, <clears throat> this is your locking ring. Excuse me. and it is reverse threaded it's a nice smooth action you don't have to 
turn it too many times. So what's that about? A turn and a half, not even. <clears throat> and again, the button has a very short throw to it, which is nice. So you do have a copper contact on the bottom, which we will take out. And then inside of there, oops, you've got the uh, the bottom button for your switch, which again has some relatively deep and nice engravings in there. A spring and uh, your main switch assembly. Now this is uh, kind of interesting because it's it does have venting and the venting does work but you've got your two vent holes right here then you've also got these four slits and then also where the locking ring screws in you have these little slits right here so there is a lot of different venting inside of this switch so forgive me I keep getting sidetracked here I'm just gonna throw this back together and again all the threads in this switch are nice and smooth put our spring back in And there it is assembled in 18650 mode. <clears throat> so this this locking ring I really like. It's a really, really smooth, easy action. You can my apologies for the cut. Um, I'm back. Anyhow, as I was saying, uh, the locking ring on this is really nice. I like the short throw on it. It's, uh, the switch isn't always this crunchy when there's a battery in there. I'll show you later. Anyhow, that's uh, the Tree of Life in 18650 mode. We saw what it looked like when it was all broken down into all of its pieces. So uh, I'm going to put an atomizer on here. And we'll take the camera up and we'll talk about it some more. So that was the um, Tree of Life mod in all of its glory and all of its little pieces and um, yeah I'm, I'm kind of really impressed with this mod I kind of got off the stainless steel bandwagon for a while once uh, copper mods really blew up <clears throat> but I'm really glad that I have this it's a nice mod I mean it's got copper contacts so it's got great conductivity and it hits really good I think one of the things that kind of once the copper and brass mods blew up and I started to get into them is because when they start to patina they're not as much of a fingerprint magnet but I mean that's really not any kind of a con just wipe it off every now and again and you're good to go so yeah but overall this is a nice mod I really like that it's got the three single tubes it's not got the extension tube for an 18650 so there's no seam in it and it's just it's a really nice piece you know if you've got a a matching finish stainless steel RDA it just it looks really nice it looks really sleek so yeah it hits good 
So overall, this is a nice mod. Um, I gotta check what it's worth. Can't even remember. I'm gonna have to uh, look up the price and link it in the description below in the comment section because I'm not going on a Google search right now. But um, I got this from JG Vapes as well, and uh, it's it's really nice. When he sent this to me, he also sent me. I'm gonna steer away for two seconds and talk about something else. He also sent me an Imren battery. Now again, I don't have the specs in front of me, but I do believe, if I recall, it's uh, 2600 ma, and it was 30 amp continuous discharge and 38 amp pulse. So, in my experience, limited experience with this, I've only had it for a few days, um, this thing kicks the living shit right out of the E-Fest, the purple E-Fest batteries, um, just overall. But really, time will tell. I mean, if you're going to compare it to a VTC4, only time is going to tell that because that's, you know, how you can really tell the difference between a VTC4 and a purple E-Fest is after it's two months old, how it performs then. So have to stand by on that and just kind of keep using this and touch back on that later on and I'll post an update but anyways back to the tree of life um, just a few things about it I mean it's 22 mil so you're gonna have your all your 22 mil addies are gonna sit flush it does have nice engravings they're not overly deep they're just they're nice they're nicely done it's got a reverse threaded locking ring, very short throw on the button, which is nice. Copper contacts all around. Uh, it does have a spring in the switch, but it looked like maybe Nemesis magnets would probably fit in there okay. I have a Pegasus with some magnets that I know for a fact will, excuse me, fit in here. So magnet upgrade is definitely something that you can do to this. It hits good, and I mean it's got nice smooth threads all around. So there it is. Let me give this a wipe off, and yeah, there it is, the Tree of Life mod. So yeah. <clears throat> I'm not really sure what else to say about this. I uh, I think I've covered just about everything for this video. So I'm going to uh, let you all get back to your weekend. And until the next time, play safe and vape on.